Chapter 26 Crash! Thud! Oof! I land a heart on the ground. What a way to wake up. Who was I this time? What a relief. I was a 12-year-old boy again, but I still wasn't my old self. I was a chubby boy, but that didn't matter. I was a human again. I could talk, and maybe now I could get to my old room at last. I marched straight up to the front door and tried the knob. Locked. So I knocked. I had no idea who would answer. I hoped it wasn't a monster family. The door opened. Mom! I cried. I was so glad to see her. Mom, it's me, Matt! Mom stared at me. Who are you? She asked. Matt! Matt, Mom, your son! She squinted at me. Matt? I don't know anyone named Matt, she said. Sure you do, Mom. Don't you remember me? Remember that lullaby you used to sing to me when I was a baby? She narrowed her eyes suspiciously. Greg and Pam appeared behind her. Who is it, Mom? Pam asked. Greg! I shouted. Pam! It's me! Matt! I'm back! Who is this kid? Greg asked. I don't know him, Pam said. Oh no, I thought. Please don't let this be happening. I'm so close. I need to sleep in my old room, I bent. Please, Mom, let me go upstairs and sleep in my room. It's a matter of life and death. I don't know you, Mom said. And I don't know any Matt. You have the wrong house. This kid is some kind of wacko, Greg said. Mom, wait, I cried. Mom slammed the door in my face. I turned around and started down the walk. What do I do now? I wondered. Then I stopped. I glanced down the block. Three people were running toward me. The last three people I wanted to see. Lacey, Bruce, and Wayne. The reality police. They'd found me. 27. Next time, peeps. Take care.